Hey guys, it's Mike with Rebound Athletic Repair again. Hey, I shared a post a while back where I bought this Vaughn V7 Intermediate Extra Large Chest Protector. Um, got a great deal on it. And uh, I bought it primarily because there are a lot of goalies in our area who are smaller, girls especially, but play at like a higher level. And they don't have a chest protector that's protective enough for their level. So my intent was to buy it, uh, beef it up with a lot of mods that I did to my own uh, V7 chest protector and then put it on the market and see if anybody would like it. So in this video, I'm just going to show you quickly what I did to it um, and what I still have to do, and then we'll kind of follow up with other videos. So to start, um, what I did is I added a pad right underneath the arm floater here. When On my chest protector, I was getting tagged a lot right there, and this pad just isn't protective enough. So this is a half-inch foam. Here's a here's kind of a, the way it works. It's just two pieces um, again, half inch EVA foam, kind of sandwich them together, sew them underneath, and, and there you go. You, it's, it's softer foam, but you'd be surprised how much protection it provides. So that's uh, the first modification I did. The next plain one probably is this uh, elbow pad, or sorry, shoulder pad right here. Um, here's one for the other side. And basically this is just two layers of softer EVA foam with plastic in between. It's based off of Ventus. Uh, model, which I think is pretty cool. It's uh, it kind of bends with your arm a little bit and it provides great range of motion. Um, again, with my Vaughn, for whatever reason, this this pad right here just isn't protective enough. You need a secondary shoulder pad to protect your shoulder, so I put that there. On the arm floaters themselves, again, more padding here on the side. Just a couple of flaps. This is that same uh, half-inch EVA foam. Um, when you this will get laced down on this side sewn down on this side provides great protection without sacrificing any mobility so that's great on the bicep pad here's what the original bicep pad looks like it's just a sheet of plastic and then two sheets of of uh, foam here kind of sandwiched around it so um, I didn't find that was protective enough so what I'm going to do is this is shock tech gel so shock tech gel will go is underneath that one and then it'll go over the top of that so this is going to provide this is uh, already in this little pocket that's going to provide great protection right there and then here's what the current bicep pad looks like again just plastic two thinner sheets of foam not terribly great so in this one um, this is half inch EVA foam. This will just go right underneath and go right over the top. This is gonna provide excellent protection there. Um, again, this is what I did to my own chest protector. I wanted to just use the half inch EVA foam here, but this pocket right here is just too small. So um, if I added a half inch thick worth of extra material, it just wouldn't fit in this pocket. So that's why I went with the shock tech there. So uh, next steps are to take the padding out of the uh, belly pad and insert better padding in there and then make some other adjustments. Uh, this Velcro is kind of um, it's kind of shot, so we'll replace that and maybe one or two elastic straps that are in need of replacing. But that's it. So I'll follow that up with, uh, with another video, show you the completed work, and then we'll get it on the site and get it for sale. All right. Thanks a lot. All right, so making more progress on this uh, Vaughn V7 Intermediate XL chest protector. I opened up the belly pad here and pulled out the foam that was inside. So let me move this out of the way really quick. Um, and basically, here's what's inside. It's just a, a very, very soft piece of open cell foam, more for comfort than protection, I think. So um, you can compress it really easily. So what we're going to do is I cut out this piece of shock tech gel and i'm going to insert that into that cavity where uh, this comfort piece goes so i'm going to put that on the outside put the comfort foam piece on the inside sew it back up and that will increase the the protection on the belly and upper chest uh, exponentially it'll be great when it's all done 
All right, I finished inserting that Shock Tech Impact Gel and that Open Cell Comfort Foam back in the belly. So that is ready to go. That's gonna make a world of difference. And then just laced everything back together. As I said, I do earlier, the uh, wrist strap Velcro was shot. So there's brand new hook and loop Velcro on both wrists. And then a few pieces of elastic were replaced as well. But this thing is in great shape. It's in great shape when I got it. It's even in better shape now. It's the most protective, intermediate chest protector you'll, you'll probably ever find anywhere without getting it it's super custom made so um i'm gonna get it for sale here in the next week or so if you're watching this video obviously later than that uh, weeks or months after and you see some modifications that maybe you'd like to make to your own chest protector feel free to to reach out to me or put some uh, notes in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as i can it was a super fun project and i will definitely look to be doing it again all right, thanks for watching.